today we're going to take a look at um, some fighting long guns. In this instance, we're looking at the Mossberg 500 Road Blocker. Uh, a couple of different features uh, on this uh, that I needed for my uh, home protection. Um, I didn't need uh, this, the, the, the stock as an example. I needed a pistol grip, and I'll explain that uh, a little later. Um, the firearm is empty, as you can see the chamber is open there. Okay, and uh, what what I got this for is um, for primarily a, a multi-level house and I had a staircase. Now, when you're going down the staircase, if you go into the left, I'm a right-hander, so uh, holding the, the firearm with a, a stock on it, uh, going down a, a staircase to the left, um, or uh, coming up a staircase to the left, you can use a stock, okay? But um, as you're going down a staircase to the right, or you're coming up a staircase to the right, the, your accuracy is not going to be great in your left hand, so of course you're going to keep it in your strong hand. You need the pistol grip, um, otherwise you get jammed up and you can't really turn and you're in a dangerous position on the staircase. Uh, as your body and torso is twisted, um, if you fire the, uh, the weapon, what's going to happen also is you have a great possibility of slipping a disc or uh, damaging your back because of the twisted position of the vertebrae and the concussion against your shoulder and shock into the, the, the spinal cord. So um, having a, a handheld uh, is much better because your hands and your arms absorb the shock all right, and it's very uh, mobile. You can get it around the corners much easier. You can twist it and turn it. Um, you can even put it, pull it down by your hip and shoot it a little easier as well uh, with this this uh, device here, or the pistol grip. Now right. it came with the um, breacher. Okay, and this uh, is a great device because you never know if you're going to have to break into a room, a locked room, maybe uh, someone broke in your house, you have a child in the room, you need to get through the door, um, it's a solid door because you've braced up the, the locks or whatnot, so you might have to, to shoot the door or the lock. And uh, you're going to need this um, so you don't have any backwash. So uh, this weapon was purchased um, just for that in mind. It has some other um, options on it, like this hand grip came with it, or the, the, the hand strap. I found that invaluable when I took this out on uh, courses, uh, some firing courses, some shooting courses. Also, the um, heat dissipator, that, that does help uh, because when you pump off about uh, 6 to uh, 12 shots right in a row, you're going to get a hot barrel there. Uh, so uh, it's got the breacher or the um, heat sink on that, and it's great. I've also opted to place on um, a little extra ammunition on the side. Uh, you never know what you're going to encounter, and it's great to have that uh, set up so um, in case you uh, run out of the six shots here, you're going to get a little bit more. You can always use the shorter size shells also, so um, instead of a standard shell, you can get like one more in your capacity for that. I also have this loaded up where I have um, three R pellets, but I also have the three that are slugs also, because you never know what you're going to have to get through, and you might need to load uh, one of the slugs in there as well. So this was a really nice uh, firearm. Uh, I've done well with it at courses, as I've said. I've run through numerous courses with that. Never had a problem with it. Uh, first time out with it, I will admit, um, I didn't know exactly how to position my hand on the, the, uh, the, the handle here. And uh, what I did was I ended up um, really swelling up my hand for the next day. Now, when I was firing it, it was going off fine. I was handling fine. It didn't hurt too much. Yeah, it was a shock to my arm and whatnot. But it wasn't too bad. The next day, my hand buffed up pretty good. So uh, work into that slowly. If you're going to take a course, make sure you go out to your range and make sure you fire it a few times. Get your hand used to the concussion. Make sure you find that position on your hand. Um, that's going to be the most suitable for you not to damage your hand or cause too much uh, uh, inflammation with it. So again, that's the Mossberg 500. Um, it's been replaced uh, with a newer uh, firearm for my home, but I just can't seem to part with it because it's been to so many uh, trips with me, so many um, shooting 
uh, courses and matches. So uh, I really enjoy this this firearm. So it's going to be a uh, pass me down to my next generation. Another great thing about taking your your shotgun and uh, putting a pistol grip on it for home defense is that um, it stays with you a little bit easier. Um, grabbing onto the stock. It makes you have a longer profile. The shorter profile, when it's held in your hands and close to your body, very hard to wrestle away from uh, an individual. And again, if you've got your hand, let me just undo this again. This is empty. Um, as you take this out, your hand's in such a position, your hand, both hands are in such a position, and it's up against your body, that it's very hard for them to leverage this out of your hands. They're going to be grabbing the firearm uh, up in this area they've got about maybe four to six inches of grip um, this uh, breech breacher here is going to make it very difficult for them to get a good solid grip and if the firearm goes off it's not going to be a very pleasant one um, so it's it's a very strong uh, firearm design keeping the pistol grip for in close fighting because when you go into your house if you're clearing your house or you have a couple people um, come into your home and you get one shot off and the other guy tackles you maintaining your firearm is uh, very important of course so um, using it as a uh, bludgeon also is also is very important you have to be able to strike with this now with this pistol grip you only have one real um, uh, striking end and that that would be this so that is one limitation on this uh, pistol grip over the stock because with the stock of course you could use that as a, a, a butt hitting instrument uh, you can strike with that this one it might be a little more difficult you could uh, grab it here and hit with the butt but then you're risking it because if they grab it and pull the trigger then you're in trouble so uh, this does have that one thing you have to uh, make sure that you don't try to um, use this end to strike with you can definitely use this end and as I said the leverage is quite exceptional on this for in close fighting so they're not going to be able to um, wrestle this out of your hands as readily Okay, and if they do grab, it's going to be uh, very difficult for them to secure a good grab up in the front here. So uh, it's good for um, keeping this right in your hands.